players of the week offensively. Cameron Green, you know, I thought had a you know probably his career day. Uh, really was outstanding. Some big plays in the game, especially down the stretch. Big playmaker was Flynn Nagel. The play he made there in overtime yards after the catch. I think he had close to 50 yards. Uh, after the catch, Patty Fisher was our defensive player of the week. I think the stats had 17 tackles. We had 21 uh, as we watched the tape. So hopefully we can do a better job in the press box next week. Kyle, that would be good. Um, defensive big playmaker was Joe Gaziano. You know, a couple of uh, big sacks, especially that one there in overtime. Uh, Charlie Kubander was our special teams pra- our special teams player of the week. Uh, four for four. You know, you take the field goal and the four extra points. You know, seven points were critical in our success. Jelani Roberts, Joe Bergen, and Chris Bergen were our practice players of the week, respectively, on OD and in the kicking game. How does he compare to the middle linebacker from, like, the early to mid-'90s here? I think he's got a chance to be better than Barry Gardner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, he's longer than Barry. You know, taller, got longer you know, longer arms. But uh, what's well, a different game? You know, I think he's he's a lot like Josie. They're generational linebackers. I think Patty easily could have played back then because of his size. Um, there, there's some new age linebackers that their size they would have never been able to play in the mid '90s. Uh, and then there's guys like me with my lack of athleticism that couldn't play now. Um, the game just has evolved. It's it's a much more spatial game. I mean, you think about a couple of the plays that Patty's made outside the numbers. You know, even the fumble caused on Saturday that uh, was a big play in the game. You know, that's a big 245-pound, 50-pound guy that can run sideline to sideline. It's pretty impressive. It's, uh, it's fun. I mean, it's really, truly awesome. It's it's a blast. And the, and the cool thing is, is no two days are the same. So that's why it's it's so invigorating and such a challenge. You know, I get asked a lot in the offseason, do you feel like you get complacent because you've been some, somewhere so long? Absolutely not. I mean, every day is a, a new and spectacular challenge. And um, it's the other way around. I mean, it's 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 a daunting challenge. Uh, but it's awesome. I wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. I don't know. I saw some blood coming out of his glove when, when he came to the sideline, but after that, I'm managing the game, and then they told us he was going to be out for a little bit. Uh, so now I'm managing not only his substitutions, but because he's out, now somebody goes into his role and that guy's role in special teams uh, impacts like seven other guys. So we're talking through that adjustment, and then they said he's back in, and then I said, okay, hey, you seven guys, you're not playing now. <laughs> you're, you're back down, you're back in. I mean, that's so... Again, you talk about roles on game day. It's, I mean, chaotic. chaotic. Game day is chaotic. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, you know, just going out there and uh, playing with all the guys uh, on my D-line and my uh, my secondary and uh, being able to receive that award is, is special and it means a lot. Uh, Walter came one of the founding fathers of this game and uh, to be named uh, the recipient of that award for this week is uh, it's, it's a big honor. Coming into the game, the offensive line, <clears throat> We just decided that we're going to finish every play. Um, we're going to play with an attitude. We're going to play tough. And we're going to play for the guy next to us. And throughout the game, that's what we were doing. Coming off on the boundary, it was, you know, we make our corrections, figure out what we got to do, but we were enjoying it. Um, you know, there's only so many, so many moments left, and nothing's guaranteed. And especially as you're coming, um, you know, in the twilight of the season, I think of seniors like Brad North. I mean, this is the last season I'll play next to him right, in Macon. And um, so you just really want to enjoy each moment and get the most out of it. But um, it helps when you get a groove and get some confidence. Uh, growing up, definitely Brian Erlacher, uh Ray Lewis. And then um, I went throughout high school, I uh, looked up to Luke Keekley a lot and, uh, and watched him at BC and, um, and uh, at Carolina. About Erlacher. Erlacher is a big dude, just physical, and just love to hit people. It's great because, you know, Justin Jackson, you've all seen him make guys miss an open field. Uh, that's fun to watch. But he's he's the complete package as a running back. Um, you know, he's great in pass protection. He knows what's going on because, uh, you know, when we watch uh, pressure cut-ups, we make sure the quarterbacks and the running backs are in, there in with us because, um, everyone's a part of that process, but you know, I think more than anything, Justin's he's a he's a competitor. Um, he's a team player. I think of on my official visit back in what, 2013, I was in the hotel room with Clayton and Clayton and Justin. We were looking at a newspaper article about uh, you know Justin Jackson, 
Gatorade Player of the Year, and we were, you know, gassing it up a little bit. Oh, Justin Jackson, he just, I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to win a state championship. And I, I think that just points to sort of his selfless attitude. For him, it's not about the numbers, accolades. It's all about what he can do for the team. And you see that on little things like pass protection.